Hello and welcome to the Innovation Games here at Sydney Olympic Park. This is part of National Science Week. My name's Lee Constable, I'm your host, science communicator and science commentator. You're joining me now for an event called The Ball Drop. To take us through that is Angus over at Key Centre at Sydney Olympic Park, who'll be using kinetic energy transfer. Let's see what that's all about. Hey guys, Angus Glover here, guard with the Sydney Kings. Today we're here at the Key Centre and I'm going to do a ball dropping experiment. So first ball we're going to use is a basketball. I'm going to drop it from about this length and we're going to see how high it goes. So it went about that high. So now we've used the basketball, now we're going to add a tennis ball. So what I'm going to do is put the tennis ball on top of the basketball and drop both of them at the same time. Let's see what happens. So the basketball basically did the same thing, didn't go above knee height, whereas the tennis ball shot up in the sky about a couple metres above me. So there are two key types of energy at play here. There's kinetic energy or moving energy and potential energy, which you can think of like stored energy. Now, one place you might have seen something similar happen is on the trampoline. When the tennis ball and the basketball hit the ground, it's kind of like when you jump down on the trampoline. Then the basketball gets compressed just a little bit. And in that moment, you have potential energy before all of that gets transferred into kinetic energy, bursting the tennis ball up into the air, or you up off the trampoline. So after the previous two attempts, now we're gonna add a golf ball. So what I'm gonna do is put the golf ball on top of the tennis ball and the tennis ball on top of the basketball and see what happens. Now you may not realise, but you actually use potential energy and transfer it into kinetic energy all the time, every day, whether you're walking around or brushing your teeth or playing a sport. One example right now you can do is crouch down. Now you've got that stored or potential energy. And when you jump up, you're turning that into moving or kinetic energy. What we saw there was kinetic energy traveling from one ball to the other two balls. You can try this at home or at school with any three balls of your choosing. Now let's go shoot some hoops. You can give the ball drop challenge a go whether you're at home or at school. Try it out with different size balls and maybe even one of your stuffed toys. Have fun. <laughs> 